Fair Flight 7. Five line one, when you're inbound, use caution. There's a group of uh, paragliders uh, probably halfway to Gastonia at this point. Uh, it was just a couple months in the making to let them do it. They got a lawnmower engine on the back with a big fan on them for their actual power characters. Fair Flight 7, Charlie. Fair Flight 7, use caution. There's a pipeline low flying aircraft uh, coming from Gastonia right now, about 10 miles west and down to Charles. Roger, right, we're looking for them. So I didn't film much of the drive here because I left at 3 this morning and it was dark and I was tired. So um, we are here at the airport. As you can tell by the title, you know what we're doing today. We have clearance into Class Bravo airspace and we're getting ready to launch. So we've got one, two, three, four, five or six pilots here. Woody is here. It's Woody. Um, Mark and Elena are here. They're doing their classic pre-flight. And... Uh, I'm only going to have one camera today, so uh, it'll be my head cam, I'm trying to keep things simple and light, so, um, yeah, if everything goes well, the next, uh, the next uh, clip here will be us launching, so, peace. Oh my god, I'm so happy. You guys, I am pumped. Everything worked out. We're on our way to a holding pattern. There's supposed to be a cell phone tower, which I see. And I see Dustin and Woody in front of me. So Dustin knows exactly where to go. So I didn't explain it much in the intro, but this group of people, think our nickname is Paraflight 7, have been trying to do this for months and months and months. And by the time I was brought into the, the group, they had already been trying to do it for I don't even know how long. But schedules, weather, you name it, um, all these things came up and kept pushing this back. So this was planned for a long time, but we didn't know we were doing it today until last night. Unfortunately, the person who I, I really wanted to see today and also the person who brought me into the group Todd Scandrit couldn't make it today, and that happened this morning. So his son broke down or something like that on the side of the road, and he had to go pick him up. And uh, we all got here this morning to that news that he couldn't make it. So we're all very bummed. Uh, that, but Todd, if you watch this, uh, I'm so sorry, but that really sucks. So there you go. There's Charlotte, and that's Charlotte International, I think is the name of the airport might have another name but that's the international airport of charlotte right there and we have clearance to fly into i think it's runway 18 i don't recall but class bravo airspace baby <laughs> i'm so excited all right we got mark honica dustin and donald in front of me here hey <laughs> So Dustin, I should have said this earlier, so Dustin is an air traffic controller for this airport. Um, and I'm guessing that we have the clearance because he has stopped his pattern hold over the over the dirt track and we're headed toward the airport now. So this is it, guys. We have clearance for one, maybe two passes down uh, the runway. And uh, we have permission to foot drag it. So we were all talking before we launched, who's going to foot drag it? Um, and it was a mixed uh, mixed emotions on that because the penalty for failure for a foot drag at an international airport is pretty high. Uh, but that being said, if it's smooth down low, I will not be able to resist that uh, temptation. So it's going to happen. 
You can't see it right now, but I am smiling uncontrollably. And uh, my lips are getting chapped. <laughs> This is so cool. We're too far for the GoPro right now, but I have a really good visual on the airport, and I can see uh, planes coming into land. Big plane. So cool, man. Once in a lifetime opportunity, for sure. Oh my God, look at this, you guys. We are for sure in Class Bravo now. I got goosebumps, I'm so excited. Has anyone flown a paramotor in Class Bravo before? Legally? I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're descending now. There's a plane on the runway that we have clearance for, so I'm guessing he's the last last one. I don't see anyone on final. I see airplanes on final, but they're not on final for our runway, I don't believe. Oh, my God. This is so epic. Look at this. Oh, my God. Dustin, thank you. God, I wish you were here, bud. Oh, Lena did make it. This is so awesome. Paramotor inbound, run rate three six left. <laughs> oh, wow, man, so awesome. Don't believe I foot dragged the whole thing. Look at it. There's not much left, baby. Yeah, buddy. That was the whole other way. <laughs> wow. Runway 18 right. There you go, boys and girls. Six pair of motors. Down, down the runway. Should have been seven. Should have been seven. Damn it. <laughs> no way. No way. Round two, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to have any shoes left after round two, I don't think. Foot drag, tip touch. Did it. Yes! Epic. There's basically nothing left of my shoe in the front, and everything went smooth. That was so awesome. I'm really happy. I think I'm just gonna enjoy the ride back.
goes in the middle. I was trying to stack left and right so everyone could foot drag. Yeah. Like that. I didn't hog the center, Mark. Did you, did you <laughs> feel me wingtip bump you while you were foot dragging? No, you wingtip bump yeah. me? Yeah. I was like, I had I no, I was supposed to ask for consent. You, you just like <laughs> wingtip rape me. Yeah. <laughs> while you were foot dragging. All right, well, we're getting packed up now. Um, total success. Flight was amazing. Um, Landings went well, everything was good, so we're all hungry now, so we're about to go get some food and uh, call it a day, but it is beautiful, and that was one for the books, man, that once in a lifetime, so awesome, man, rock and roll.